Hi guys, so today we'll be representing systems of linear functions. So in this problem, it's only a certain number of steps. So if you get something wrong, it's not the end of the world because it uh, affects your progress. So it says study the problem situation diagram and graph of the linear functions, then answer each question. The graph shows the distance of each train from Antwerp over time. So distance in station A, and then the time it takes. So the slope of the distance function for the train leaving from Antwerp, Antwerp is positive or negative because its distance from Antwerp is increasing over time. Oh. Oh. Why do you leave? Because the time is increasing, that means it's going positive. Um, the slope of the distance function for the train departing from Clark is positive or negative. So going from here to here. Because its distance from Antwerp is decreasing oh. over time, so that means that it's negative. And sometimes it's hard to, it's easy to get these two confused because sometimes they don't really specify um, what one's Antwerp and what one, or like what way they're going. So the drain, okay, complete each linear function. Let F be the distance function for the first train departing from Antwerp. And let G be the distance function for the second train departing from Clark. So it's going to be, you, you have to find your intervals and so you have to find what it's decreasing by and then the slope so the train departing from Antwerp it says over here so three train stations lie along the same set of tracks Brasher B is 50 miles from Antwerp and Clark C is 125 miles from Antwerp a train departs Antwerp traveling around Tori Clark at a speed of 50 miles per hour. At the same time, a second train departing, traveling toward Antwerp at 10 miles an hour. So then over here, it's 50 because that's the speed that it's traveling towards Clark. So that means that it's positive. And then when it starts at Antwerp, it's zero miles from there. And then for this one, train departing from Clark, you're going negative 10 miles an hour, basically but you're still going at a positive speed. It's just that your slope is going to be negative instead of positive because you're leaving your destination. And then one, it's the other um, number is 125 because that's the distance from, Ant, um, from Clark to Antwerp, and that's how you get that answer. So the point where the graphs of the two linear functions intersect represents the point where when the two trains pass together. Because the point, because at this point the distance of each train from Antwerp is the same. Complete the table to estimate when two trains pass, pass through each other. So for the f of x, you have to take 50 times 2, which is 100 plus 0. So that means it's 100. Then you take negative 10 times 2, which is negative 20, and so it's 105 by the looks of it, because that's negative 20 plus 125 would equal 105. Then 2.1, so I'm just going to go over to a calculator. So as my calculator loads... I'm going to be putting in 50 times 2.1 plus, so basically 50 times 2.1. And that solution answer is 105. And then you do negative 10 times 2.1 plus 125. which equals negative 21. So if you're subtracting from that, that would give you 104. And then 2.2 times 50 is going to give you, I believe, 1. We'll see. So 50 times 2.2. 
So 15 times 2.2 is 110. And then negative 10 times 2.2. That is negative 22, so that means that it goes down, so it's going to be 103. So if you can see that this one changes by 5, and it adds 5, and this one subtracts 1 each time. So the two tra trains pass each other between 104 and 105 hour, 105 hours after they depart at a distance between 2.0 and 2.1 miles from Antwerp, or between 2.0 and 2.1 hours after they depart at a distance between 104 and 105 miles from Antwerp, or between 2.1 and 2.2 hours after they depart at a distance of between 103 and 110 from Antwerp, or between 103 and 110 hours after they depart at a distance between 2.1 and 2.2 miles from Antwerp. The correct answer is between 2.0 and 2.1 hours between after they depart at a distance between 104 and 105 miles from Antwerp. The equation that represents the exact distance both trains are from Antwerp when they pass each other is f of x equals 105, g of x equals 104, f of x plus g of x equals 105, or f of x equals g of x. And in this situation, it would be f of x equals g of x, because they're passing at the same time, so they have to meet each other, so they both have to equal each other. So I hope this helped you represent systems of linear functions.